Greetings. Today I would like to present you a part of the luxurious sapphire collection of the royal family. So, meet the heroine of our story Sapphire Tiara Bendo Sunbeams. The appearance of this jewelry in the English treasury is somewhat vague. The first royal person to present a sapphire crown to the public was Queen Mary of Tech. Elizabeth II's grandmother used the tiara frequently during the final years of her husband George V's reign. The Sunbeams Bendo Tiara is a flexible diamond bendo with a sunburst design. The centerpiece of the jewelry is a removable sapphire brooch. The wreath has the shape of a small Russian kakashnik. And according to the only reliable source, the tiara is indeed of Russian origin. The jewel was purchased by Mary of Tech from the Dowager Empress Maria Fyodorovna, along with several other pieces of jewelry. Queen Mary bequeathed the bandeau tiara to her daughter-in-law Elizabeth Bowes Lyon. The design of the jewelry was not suitable for the Queen Mother's images, so she never wore it in public. The sapphire crown was honored to adorn Princess Margaret's high hairstyle. Indeed, the youngest daughter of the royal couple frequently used the bandeau tiara both before and after her marriage in 1960. The most spectacular appearance of the princess in the sun jewelry took place in the spring of 1958, during her tour of the West Indies. In April, she arrived in Trinidad to act as the Queen's special representative at the inauguration of Lord Hales, Governor-General of the West Indies Federation. After the official events, Princess Margaret attended a gala dinner at the Lord's residence. Margaret's evening look was truly sumptuous. The delicate blue dress, created by royal tailor Norman Hartnell, was decorated with blue and silver lace. The bodice and skirt of the gown shimmered with the precious sparkle of sapphires and diamonds. The hem of the dress was adorned with a large bow. The sparkle of the sunray bandeau tiara was complemented by diamond and sapphire rings, now worn by Margaret's daughter Lady Sarah Chatto. The rebel princess's neck was framed by a Lady Mount Stephen necklace. Her wrists were adorned with a pair of pearl bracelets. Incidentally, the clasps of the bracelets bear the letter sivers of King William IV and his wife Adelaide of Saxe-Meningen. Margaret wore several British honors. The ribbon and star of the Royal Victorian Order, as well as her father's and sister's Royal House Orders and the Order of the Crown of India. The Royal Victorian Order ribbon was held by a pair of brooches. A diamond flower brooch was pinned to the corsage of her dress, a sapphire cluster brooch held the ribbon on her shoulder. The Sunbeams Bandeau tiara also accompanied Margaret on a state visit by German President Hughes in 1958, and three years later at the wedding of Princess Astrid of Norway. Margaret also used the tiara's centerpiece, a sapphire brooch, for both daytime and evening events. At a performance of the British instrumental rock band The Shadows in London in March 1962, the bodice of the princess's dress is adorned with this very brooch. The current whereabouts of the unique piece of jewelry is unknown. Perhaps the sapphire tiara bandeau was dismantled by royal jewelers to create more modern jewelry. There is also a version of its sale at auction, along with some of Princess Margaret's jewelry. Let's hope that the jewelry will still show itself to the public. Thanks for watching.